here in Ephesus, Paul wrote a hurried and urgent letter to the Galatians. There were individuals coming to various church congregations seeking to sow seeds of doubt among Christians as they were trying to understand how best to live their faith. We read about the specifics of this event in Galatians chapter 1 verses 6 and 7. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Paul's strong words weren't necessarily aimed at those Galatian saints, but instead towards those who were undermining individuals' clear faith in Jesus Christ. As I think of those events anciently, I am struck by the parallels in our own day where individuals may seek to undermine or undercut faith for their own purposes. As I strive to follow Jesus Christ, I can take hope in the words that Paul later gives to the Galatians. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not of man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. These words from Paul encourage me as I think of the trials and struggles I may face in my own life as individuals seek to sow seeds of doubt or undermine faith. I can be confident in the truth that I've received because it comes from the source of truth, our Savior, Jesus Christ.